Welcome to Tweet of the Week, and we have an inspiring tweet to talk about today. I am joined by Stephanie Pencola, who is a fourth grade teacher at Hillcrest Elementary, and Monica Skidmore, who works in our Food Nutrition Services Office. And this is a story about student voice that I think you will love to hear. And so, Stephanie, your students decided to advocate. Can you talk a little bit about where this all began? So my students recently had this obsession with dinosaur nuggets. They continued to talk about them day after day. And one morning when we were doing the lunch count, um, my assistant principal walked in and heard us talking about dinosaur nuggets and wanting them for lunch. And he was like, well, why don't you guys write a letter to Miss Alvarado, the cafeteria manager? And you know maybe she can come through and get some dinosaur nuggets for you. And we happened to be in the middle of an opinion writing unit. so. You know, I just thought, well, what a great prompt that we could get started and, and do. Um, so later that afternoon, we started writing some letters about dinosaur nuggets, and the kids really just went forward with it. I didn't have like a, a set idea of like, we should research this and this and this. Um, we kind of just thought about, you know, what should we say to the cafeteria manager that would like, that would get her to get these dinosaur nuggets? And um, they kind of just went with it. All right. And so these letters, went from the cafeteria manager to our central office in Food and Nutrition Services. And Monica, what were some of the things they said to you that were so compelling? Um, well, they talked about the nutrition. They talked about how they're high in protein and how we need protein to be able to think and learn. So, um, so we flew with it. We said, you know, we can get, we serve chicken nuggets already. They're um, a different brand of chicken nugget than what we ended up getting the dinosaur nuggets in, but we thought, you know, we can get all white meat dinosaur nuggets with a child nutrition label, then we'll serve them. And we did. We, our Josh Kilson, our procurement guy, found some Purdue brand all white meat dinosaur nuggets that had a child nutrition label. So we thought if we can get enough of them, we'll serve them to cohort A and cohort B day at Hillcrest. And, found out we could get enough of them to serve them to all the elementary students. So we did it one day for all the elementary students and then a second day at Hillcrest so that both co cohorts got them. All right, and so is this going to become a standard menu item now? It may, the, um, and it may not. We, we have to look into them a little more. The Purdue ones we got do not have a whole grain on them, so we had to serve an additional whole grain with them. It's not required under the current regulations where we're stu feeding all students for free. but. Um, it will be when we go back to, if we go back <laughs> the other way, we're not really sure what they're gonna do with food service uh, yet nationally, but if they go back to the old regulations, we would need something with the whole grain breading. Um, and I think that the current vendor we use for most of our chicken products, which is Tyson, does have a whole grain breading. So we'd have to look into it and see if, if we could get those. And you are sharing details that I think most um, people, when, whenever we talk about school lunches, do not fully understand the regulations and the mandates and the balance in what you serve and you have to look at that over the course of not just that meal but the whole week. Yes. I know um, having you know visited your offices and having worked with some of our cafeteria servers and listening to the you have to make sure it's this and this yes. and very very much um, a mandate and a regulation but I am so excited that our young advocates we're able to see, because um, I, I can certainly understand why a dinosaur nugget would be much more exciting <laughs> yes. um, for our <laughs> elementary students, maybe even some of our high school students, you never know. <laughs> right. But you know, we were kind of joking that, oh my gosh, now we might be, as we do this tweet of the week, getting all sorts of little ideas going off out there about, well, and you said you had some second graders who have been advocating for? Well, we, there were second graders that respond, one of the teachers, second grade teachers from Tuscarora Elementary responded to her tweet saying, my second graders want to advocate for sushi. <laughs> So. <laughs> so we don't know um, what new menu items may appear in the years to come as students begin to advocate, um, but again, what a great opportunity for, you can have an opinion about it, but if you're going to convince our folks in food and nutrition services, there's gotta be some nutritional understanding and how that plays into everything. I have a feeling sushi, I don't know, probably would, but Raw maybe more health, <laughs> health issues might have to stick with the veggie sushi or whatever, I don't know. But one of the things I have 
greatly valued about our team with Food Nutrition Services is your responsiveness to our students. I know we had students at our high schools doing taste tests. That's kind of what led to the burrito bar um, idea. So you have been incredibly responsive to student voice and we thank you so much for that. And we thank you for, again, letting your students see a real life application of a skill they were learning in school and how cool that what they advocated for came to be because sometimes we advocate really well and we don't always get it but um, this is just phenomenal so ladies thank you for again not only what you did but for sharing it on twitter so that the rest of us could be excited and inspired by it again anytime you find someone from Frederick County Public Schools on Twitter, you are gonna find a story that is compelling because our staff and our students are absolutely amazing. So thank you for joining us on Tweet of the Week. We hope to see you next time.